Welcome to Hass Online Trade Server 2.0. Getting started, Chapter 1. All right, the best way to get started with this software is just to jump in. Let's set up a trade bot with a small trading amount and let it run. And we're going to observe what happens when you let it run. That's the best way to learn how the software operates and how you can use it. Okay, let's get right into it. Today, we're gonna to use probably the simplest indicator we have, and that's called price high-low. In order to select this indicator, head over to indicators, hit plus, go to the drop-down menu, and then look for the one called price high-low. Okay, come down here. Let's see. So there are a lot of indicators, but today we just need one. Some are simple, some are more complex. Here we go, price high low. Okay, let's add that, add. It's adding the indicator, okay, we're there. So now we've gotta decide you know, what range we want. That means, are we gonna to wanna to sell, what price do we wanna sell at and what price do we want to buy at? Of course, you want to buy low and sell high. Today, let's, you know, just a quick look at the chart. Let's say we want to sell at 294, and then we want to buy when it goes down to 293. We've got a dollar range then. That's going to be fine as long as the price goes sideways, but we'll get back to that. So we want to buy at 293, and we want to sell at 2, whoops, 294. So we've got a one dollar space and that's more than enough to cover our trade fees okay then hit update and you're ready to go you've got an indicator in there great okay so you have now set up a simple high low trade bot let it run a little bit and observe what's going on you know you might it might appear that the trade bot is not selling or it's selling very slowly. Maybe it even looks like it's underselling a little. Well, that's kind of true. The sell moment when, when it actually happens is a little bit slow. But the reason that is the charts you're looking at look a little misleading is that they're the open and closing prices and those in relation to the buy and those are in relation to the buy prices so for selling we're dealing with the sell price from the order book and this price is always lower than the prices we can see okay so what can we learn from this we can learn there's two things involved a buy and a sell price and the chart itself can be misleading because they do not show the sell prices but that is a completely natural thing. In any case, we have set up a simple range within the prices of 294 and 293. Okay, so in the, the another thing to take note of is this high-low strategy works great when the prices are going sideways. In other lessons, we're going to get into how you can use other strategies in trending markets, markets that are trending up or down. Okay, so let's improve this setup. We already have, this is enough right now. We could, we could, as long we, if we have our APIs connected and we have our trade amount set to, if we're just running it to learn 0.02, for example, then we could just hit play and this thing will run and we can watch it run and see what will happen. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna improve this setup. How are we gonna do that? Well, we're going to add a safety. In fact, we're gonna add two safeties. So let's go over here to safety. Okay, and here's a list of different safeties. So. Today, we want to go down to the static ones, and we're going to hit static drop loss, add, 
and to work kind of as a team we're also going to use static roof in okay so now we're going to explain what these things are all right so the static roof in is going to buy in at the price that you give it so if it goes out of our range and is clearly trending up and we want to buy in with our fiat then we want to set this a price to where the bot will automatically do that and the safeties are going to override the indicators inside the bot okay so that's that's important they're going to override so let's say the price is trending so hard that it hits 298 and we say okay then it's going to hit 300 I want to buy in because now it's out of my trade channel and I want it to override the high low and I want to buy in so you just put in 298 and you hit update and then you go back all right here we are we've set the roof in at 298 and we're going to want to do a drop loss that's a stop loss basically and we're going to with the same principle so already on the chart we can see there's a low of 291.85 right here so let's say if it really clearly dropped out of this channel maybe at 290 then we can say okay then we want to sell and we want to get out of our position of bitcoin and we want to wait until the price is lower so in order to do that we need to hit the set the drop loss price at 290. all right so we've done that and we're going to hit update all right we're ready to go so we've got our safeties and we've got one indicator. So this, is, this is an example of how this is a kind of modular system and you can add indicators and safeties inside one bot to create a trading strategy that fits your needs and this is a really simple strategy that works great in sideways markets and we've also amplified how well it works by adding the safeties to ensure if the price goes out of our range we're still covered all right thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next chapters where we're going to cover what you can do in trending markets thanks a lot for watching don't forget to check out hassonline.com link in the description